So I wanted to make a video about Christmas songs because Christmas music is something I have complex feelings about, both pro and con. I have Christmas music I absolutely love that's very nostalgic to me and I value because it takes me back to the Christmases of my childhood, my early childhood in the late 80s, early 90s in a way that other music cannot. And uh, I wanted to talk about Christmas songs that I absolutely love and I absolutely hate. And we'll start with my favorite Christmas album of all time, which is Leon Redbone, Christmas Island. Leon Redbone is a very interesting musician. He's been active since like the 70s, I think. He has, kind of, his sound is very hard to pin down. And I think that's pur that's purposeful. We should listen to that one after this. I don't think I've heard that before. We should. Unfortunately, I didn't include the disc. What do I just saying? Google it. What is it just beyond? Oh yeah, yeah. That's on you. It's on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I'm just it or but yeah. Music but, video. But I didn't bring the album. And for anyone who's expecting to like see a bunch of albums for me to like, like whip out some collection, some imaginary collection I've got, and put the albums down so you can see them. Uh, I don't, I'm not the type of person who collects Christmas albums. In fact, I'm not really the type of person who collects albums, period. So I don't have all of those. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to settle for this for a, a visual. Wow. But Leon Redbone, Christmas Island. When I was a kid, we had this as a cassette tape. And I still have the original cassette tape. And it works perfectly. And, uh... That's something that kind of goes to show how uh, uh, cassette tape technology, both VHS and audio cassette, is actually a pretty reliable technology. 30, 40 years later, those tapes still work fine. I can't always say the same thing about discs. So, But I did happen to obtain a CD copy of Christmas Island. I got it as a gift from a family member who knew how much I loved it from growing up. came out in 1989. You can see the cool... Uh, cover Leon Redbone is there and he's like kind of black and white and out of focus and then he's holding this photo of Santa Claus on an island in this giant like old-timey men's swimsuit and what I love about this album number one if I if I actually were banished to an island like a tropical deserted island by an evil wizard or something and he said you can only take one Christmas album with you just one no hesitation whatsoever it would be this one. Wow. Because to me, this album is Christmas music. Like, I am so, I strongly, so strongly associate this with, like, what Christmas music is supposed to sound like because of the fact that it's, like, the main album that we had when I was a little kid. The, the, I associate the sound of it with, like, those Christmases from back then. And it's just very much ingrained in my, in my, uh, in my essence as like this is to me this is like true christmas music this is like because of the fact that it's from back then but i'll open it up here you can see on the inside cover leon redbone wearing a uh, one of those hawaiian things forget what it's called what are those hawaiian necklace things made of flowers uh the little girls yeah, I forget what they're called. I the I'm from the Midwest, so I don't know. Yeah, I've never one of them. Leon Redbone, his music kind of, it's sort of a mix of blues. You can see the different songs on there. It's kind of a mix of blues, sort of New Orleans Cajun type jazz type stuff, and, and Polynesian kind of Hawaiian stuff. It's sort of a, kind of a, conglomeration of all three of those especially in this album which came out in 1989 and I we listened to it in the early 90s and to me like the first half of the 90s like 1990 to 1995 my early childhood I'm a 90s kid so like that's my early childhood is like 90 to 95 those were probably my best Christmases and uh, this this album is basically the soundtrack of those Christmases, so that's why, in my mind, I really think of this as the Christmas album of all time. And he does brilliant things, like, for example, uh, 
he sings, he does a cover of White Christmas, and it has kind of a, a Polynesian sound to it. Even though he's talk or not White Christmas, uh, uh, Winter Wonderland. Like, imagine, imagine a song about snow, about a winter wonderland, and it's, and it's this sort of Hawaiian sound. I mean, and I always loved the contrast of, like, having this sort of, like, Polynesian, tropical-sounding music, and then having it being snowing and cold outside, like, that cozy feeling that I got from that. I always loved that, and I, I think that's one of the reasons why this album resonated with me so much. So, but, uh, uh, and then I'll Be Home for Christmas has kind of a Cajun sound. I believe he did that because Leon Redbone uh, kind of considers New Orleans his, uh, his home, his base of operations, even though I read somewhere that, he was, that he's from, like, New England or something. Uh, but New Orleans is kind of his adopted home, so it would, it would make sense that I'll Be Home for Christmas has kind of a Cajun sound to it. But like I said, if I had to take one, if I had to, like, pick one Christmas album to be the only one I ever hear again, I would pick this one. But I also have a list of ones that I would, that are honorable mentions that I would like to also take along if I could and also listen to and would probably miss if I couldn't. Yeah. And uh, number one is Bruce Springsteen, Merry Christmas Baby. Number two, Vince Vance and the Valiants, All I Want for Christmas is You. And no, it's not the same as the Mariah Carey version. The Mariah Carey version is one of the ones I don't like. That's going to be on the list of ones that I can't stand and I'd rather not listen to. Vince Vance and the Valley, it's, their version is very soulful. It's very kind of melancholy. It has like it has sort of this kind of country, but more sort of like doo-wop kind of sound. Uh, that's very like very resonant. Uh, Randy Travis, Jingle Bell Rock. Uh, believe it or not, he actually did a pretty good cover of Jingle Bell Rock. Uh, again, sort of a rockabilly type thing. Uh, instrumental version of Sleigh Ride. Carol of the Bells, the traditional version of Carol of the Bells. Um, the Charlie Brown theme, as well as the jazz version of, of Oh Christmas Tree from the Charlie Brown Christmas special. The theme from the Home Alone movies. Uh, Charles Brown, Please Come Home for Christmas. Uh, a lot of people think the Eagles is the original version. It's not. It's actually the Charles Brown is the original version of that song. Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives. Uh, Millie Kaliki Maka and Feliz Navidad, which, again, kind of go along with this album uh, with the whole tropical theme. Uh, kind of like tropical sounding Christmas songs. Like I said, just because I enjoy the cozy feeling of being inside and warm when it's cold and snowing outside one of the reasons why i like snow is i just i like that cozy feeling uh songs i don't like and uh, don't care if i never hear again and the problem is like the radio plays these damn songs like right after halloween now they've gotten to the point and they always play the same like 20 songs every year and it's always some stupid pop star like uh christina aguilera singing jingle bells or some shit like that and it's like you know they're not classy. They're just the same 20 songs played every year for like two months. And you get sick of them and they grow stale. So, uh, and that's kind of why Christmas songs have kind of... And it's, it's also kind of sad how a lot of the old Christmas songs, as the years go by, they just get more and more outdated sounding because of all of the anachronisms in the songs and stuff. But uh, anyway, some of these songs are old, some are new. Uh, that I don't like and would rather not hear anymore. Uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, anything by them. I used to like them, but it, again, just overplaying on the radio, I, I just have had enough. Uh, anything by Nat King Cole. Uh, partly, I just kind of don't like his voice. I don't know why, but it's also the kind of the whole thing of being overplayed. Mariah Carey, I just don't like Mariah Carey. And the whole All I Want for Christmas is You, I think that song is just hyped up. It's like overly hyped. And I don't think it's as, it deserves to be as popular as it is. So, uh, Anything by the Beatles. Again, I don't like the Beatles, but I also just... The stuff that they do, it just doesn't resonate with me. Even if it's a Christmas song. Uh, Barbara Streisand, Grown Up Christmas List. Uh, it's just kind of a preachy, self-righteous song. 
whoever sings it, but especially if it's Barbara Streisand. Uh, the Live Aid Christmas song. I think it's Live Aid. It's that one where they're talking, they're singing about Africa and stuff. I don't hate the song. It's just that it's been overplayed. Uh, Santa Baby, unless it's sung by Eartha Kitt. If it's sung by Eartha Kitt, I can put up with it because I like Eartha Kitt. She's kind of got this whole sort of, because she was on Batman, when she, you know, she's kind of associated with like tongue-in-cheek humor. She's good at that, so... When she sings it, it comes across as like funny and sort of like not not too serious. But whenever anyone else sings it, it just comes across as this like really kind of materialistic bitch singing this song. So, uh, um, except unless it's Eartha Kitt, uh, she knows how to do it right. But anyone else, no, it just sounds trashy. Um, Elvis version of Blue Christmas. Blue Christmas is actually on this album, the Leon Redbone album. And uh, because I heard the Leon uh, Redbone album or uh, version first, it sounds like the right version to me, and the Elvis version sounds wrong. Uh, nothing, so nothing against Elvis specifically. It just doesn't sound like the right version of the song to me. Um, Last Christmas by Wham. That's another one that's just overplayed. And it's also a little bit silly, like Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day. You threw it away. It's like, whatever. Uh, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It's one of those songs that has kind of outdated language in it. Um, I don't know if I have to say it, but the whole make the Yuletide gay. It's, you know, nothing against anyone, you know, any group, but just the whole fact that the the, the weirdness of the that the difference between what that word used to mean and what it means now that's the thing that really kind of, you know, more than anything else, it's just awkward to listen to it, um, just because of that. Not because not against any group. It's just the whole weirdness of the, of the, cha- the change in in the in language and stuff. And there are other examples of that in different songs, like um, uh, what's that one? Uh, Most wonderful time of the year, where they're talking about like uh, scary ghost stories, like. Who, who tells ghost stories on Christmas anymore? You know, it's it's kind of like one of those anachronistic traditions that doesn't exist anymore. So, so that that's the main thing. Just Christmas songs that have those kind of uh, those kind of anachronisms in them kind of weird me out because they just don't, you know, they don't they're they're not relevant anymore, uh, which is kind of sad in a way, but it's also just sort of the way it is, I guess. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas because uh, of that line that mom and dad can hardly wait for for school to start again. I kind of, to me, that's kind of a shitty line. I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, and number one, the number one song I absolutely can't stand and never want to hear again. And uh, dude, you're gonna agree with me on this: Christmas shoes. And I'm not even going to talk about that song. It's just like, it's a manipulative, overly sad song that's just made to like make people cry. And it's just, it's just a, there's, it has no real quality to it. It's just this kind of tear jerking sort of song that just, just meant to kind of, it's basically emotional porn is what it is. So, um. Christmas Shoes, number one worst song, worst uh, Christmas song of all time, in my opinion. But there's my list. I've probably forgotten a few. Feel free to comment and let me know your favorite and least favorite Christmas songs. And this may be the last Christmas video I make this year. We'll see. But uh, at any rate, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.